one, the number one predictor of a happy life is the level of someone's self-esteem. Hey friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Arlena. I've been sober for 30 years. I created a whole course around this idea that we only allow into our lives what we believe we deserve on a subconscious level. So if you struggle with confidence, finding healthy relationships, or reaching your goals, you just might have low self-esteem. Listen, just about everybody I know in recovery suffers from low self-esteem, so you're not alone. In this video, I'm gonna give you three action steps right from my course that will help you start improving your self-esteem today. So the first action step is identifying and reframing limiting beliefs. These are limiting beliefs that are often subconscious. So there is a three-step writing exercise. I would highly recommend that you get a piece of paper out and do the exercise right now because a lot of times we think, oh, you know, I'll do this later, but then it later never comes. So if you can, get out a piece of paper and just do this quick exercise with me right now. So the first step is to write down what it is that you want. So it could be like lose 10 pounds, maybe you wanna get a better job, maybe you're ready to invite love into your life, but just pick one. And then step two is write down all the reasons why you don't have what you want. So for instance, if you wanna lose 10 pounds, just write down as many reasons why you can't lose 10 pounds. Maybe it's like, I'm too tired to exercise. I don't have time to meal prep. Whatever it is, just write down as many reasons as you can. Once you have your list, then you recognize these are actually your limiting beliefs. The truth is, if anybody has ever accomplished these things, that is proof that it can happen. So step three is to reframe all of the reasons why you can't have what you want. And so for instance, if it's I can't lose 10 pounds because I'm tired all the time, the reframe would be, even though I'm tired, I can spend 15 minutes a day doing yoga or some kind of calisthenic. But take every single reason that you have and reframe it into the positive. And when you catch yourself saying these negative limiting beliefs, go to your reframe and start retraining your brain to see how you can get these things done. The second action step is create a compelling future. And I like to use what I call the perfect day exercise. Actually, I don't call it the perfect day exercise. This was an exercise made popular by Dr. Martha Beck. She is a Harvard triple board certified doctor. She actually shares some stories about how students come back to her years later and they say everything they had on their perfect day exercise actually came true. I've actually done this myself. It's amazing to see the things that I've realized over the year from living to my dream house, to doing the type of work that I love, to having the kinds of friends and relationships I've always wanted. So the perfect day exercise is, is you take a piece of paper and you write your perfect day. It'd be like an average day. So it's what, where would you be when you woke up? Who would you be with? What is the room? What does the room look like? Just start from the very beginning of the day and write down everything as if it would be your perfect day. And try to use all of your five senses. As you're going through your day, smell the coffee, smell the food, the fragrances, maybe it's outside, maybe it's the fresh air. And then go through your entire day as if you were satisfied, fulfilled, joyful, whatever it is that you would consider your perfect day. And then after you have that, the idea is to read it every morning as part of your self-care practice. So action step number three to raise the level of your self-esteem is to do the RAIN meditation by Tara Brock. RAIN stands for Recognize, Allow, Investigate, and Nurture. And this is a great way to process negative feelings to resolution. It also is a way to invite self-compassion. Self-judgment is one of the biggest blocks that we have to receiving all the good things that we want. Holding ourselves in judgment and contempt is really what keeps our self-esteem low. So this practice of self-compassion with the RAIN exercise is so great for really healing all those parts in you that, that you hold judgment against. This meditation is only 11 minutes and 31 seconds. So it's really a powerful tool that you can implement right away. And in a very short time, start raising the level of your self-esteem. So those are three action steps to help you raise your level of self-esteem starting today so that you can allow better things into your life. I actually have a whole workbook 
from this class that you can have absolutely for free by going to selfesteemcourse.com. You can get it completely for free. It's the exact workbook that I use in this six week class. It has all the exercises in it. The benefit of doing the class is that you do it live online. We do all the homework live in class and it really helps you to build momentum to continue these self-care practices long-term. So thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.